hello champs welcome to a tutorial so in this video I'm, I'm going to show you guys on how to design a church flyer using corel draw so this church flyer i made it so very very simple in the sense that it looks professional so you won't have to use many images many texts and many other special effects in this flyer all you need to do is just to create this flyer using this simple design techniques so now first these are the logo i mean this is the logo i'm going to use in the design and these are the rgb values so that is the color i'm going to apply in the design and also this is also the background so i'm going to leave a link down in the description so go to the description click on the link then download the background so you can use this background in your design so now the first step i'm going to take right here is to change my page size to a4 i'll be using a4 for the design so i advise you to follow the steps so you won't make you won't make any mistake when designing your flyer so i've changed my page size to a4 so i need to change this to pixel so this can be visible very well and the next step i'm going to take right here is just to double click on the rectangle tool to bring out this shape just like this then i'm going to right click take off the outline so you must not leave an outline um at the border of your design so you must remove it at all time so now it is time for me to bring in the color so it's time for me to apply these color values so i need to create a font field that is a gradient color on this shape so i need to click on the interactive view tool then go to the side and click on radia just like this but as you can see it brings out black color but i am not using black color so i need to change it so i need to go to the side and click on order then after that then as you can see it brings out this um dialog box then i'm going to change this to rgb i'm going to change it from cmyk to rgb since we are not printing our design so now it's time for me to apply the r is 19 and the g is 15 while the b is 20. so now this is the value for the black as you can see it's a little bit it's it's black but it has a little touch of purple so for the whites this is how i'm going to apply so i'm going to change it to rgb then the values are 153 0 then 204 so this is the value i'm going to use so i'm going to increase this like this increase this a little bit so now as you can see this is a good gradient color and i'm i'm done with the color so i can now delete this just like this so now the next step i'm going to take right here is to clip this background into the shape so now i have to as i said earlier there is a link for you to download this background in the description go check it out so now i need to clip this picture into the background so i need to move this with my right click then as i have moved it with my right click as you can see if it has shown a focal point that is this focal point shape then you can now let go of your right click then to bring out this box then you can now click on power clip inside just like this then the picture will be power clipped into the shape so now to edit content instead of just clicking on right clicking on it then click on edit content the simple shortcut for it is just to click on control hold down your control key then click on the shape to edit the content now i need to rotate this picture just like this then i need to increase it by holding shift so i think this is okay like this then the next step i'm going to take right here is to give it a transparency effect by clicking on the interactive transparency tool then click on uniform then i'm going to give it um a transparency value of 60 just like this then i'm going to click on finish editing objects so now this is how our background looks like so i'm done with the background so the background might not look really okay just like this it might not look attractive but trust me the background is perfect for our design so the next step i'm going to take right here is to write out the name of the church so the name of the church you want to design the flyer for so i'm going to write it like this let me zoom in a little bit the redeemed christian 
sorry, the redeemed Christian church of God. So this is the name of the church I'm creating the design for. Then I'm going to bring this down like this. So this is how I want it. And I, I need to change the fonts. So I'll be using a font called Agency. Agency FB. So here's the font. So now I'm going to take this to the shape. I mean to the page just like this. And zoom it to the page. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to give it white. So now I need to increase the line spacing of these things by increasing this like this. I click on the shape tool. So I'm using the shape tool to increase the line spacing just like this. Then I'm going to drop it. So I'm going to click on the B to bold it so to make it very visible. So I'm going to bring this logo right here. So I'm going to reduce it just like this. And I'm going to bring it up to this side. So then I'm going to align both the logo and the text. Then press the letter E to make it arrange horizontally. Then I'm going to move this closer a little bit. I'm going to zoom in just like this. Then hold shift, select the text, then press the letter E just like this. Then press Ctrl G to group it. Then after that, I'm going to zoom everything back to page. Then hold shift. Then I'm going to click on the background. I'm now, then I'm going to select the letter C to make it align vertically. So as you can see, I'm done with the name of the church. So I can now bring this down a little bit. Then after that, I need to bring in um, a text called present. That is the redeemed Christian Church of God. Then the redeemed Christian Church of God presents present then I'm using the same font agency FB so I'm going to bring it to this side I'm going to give it white color then I'm going to zoom in a little bit then I'm going to increase the line spacing that I did to the logo the name of the church just like this then I'm going to put it the whole shift and select the C to as centralize it just like this I'm going to bring it downward I'm going to zoom everything back to page. So now, for this step, um, this is okay for this step. So now, the next step I'm going to take right here is to write out the theme of the program. The theme of the program. So now, first, I'm going to click on the text and then type theme. Just like this. So I'm going to give it a font called Ed1. Edward script ITC Edwardian script ITC so I'm going to give it white color then give it an outline of white also so I'm going to bring it to this side I'm going to remove the outline then after that I'm going to reduce the font just like this I think this is okay just like this then after that, I'm going to write out the theme of the program, the main theme of the program, which is um, rise, rise and be ill. So, rise and be healed. So this is the theme of the program. So I'll be working with a font called start. Jedi special. So start Jedi special. We will start Jedi special edition. So now for this font, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. So go to the description, click on the link, then download this font so you can make use of it in your design. So I'm going to give it white color. But as you can see, this rise. You know it's supposed to be R I S E, but this according to the font the um customization of the font the i is in h so i need to customize it back so i'm going to press ctrl k to break the text apart then press ctrl k also to break this word apart so after that i'm going to click on this h then change the font to area black area black just like this 
so it will now look normal just like this then i'm going to adjust it like this then this yeah i'm going to press ctrl k to break this apart then delete this then so the next step you know i've written out the um the font i mean the theme of the program written out the theme of the program so the next step is to customize it so now first i'm going to work on this rice before going to this b e so first i'm going to highlight this then increase it just like this then i'm going to click on this letter s so i'm going to give it a shadow by clicking on the interactive drop shadow tool so then i'm going to come to the presets right here then choose the flat bottom right just like this then to bring out something like this so i'm going to reduce the opacity to 32 then i'm going to drop it then bring it to the front of page just like this then click on the drop shadow tool again then you can now edit it bring it up just like this so i'm going to change the color to something gray just like this um, in form of this so i think this is okay so i'm going to adjust this just like this then drop it then click on this eye then click on the interactive transfer i mean the interactive drop shadow tool and click on copy fill properties i mean the copy shadow properties then copy this shadow properties then click on it i mean and right click on it then go to order then bring it to the front of the page you can now adjust it move it closer to the s then adjust the transparency i mean the shadow effect just like this zoom it a little bit so i think this is okay same thing applicable to the r copy the shadow effects just like this then bring it to the side then bring it to the front of page or the front of layer anyone wants and you can now make it centralized together with the text so i think this is okay so now click on the drop shadow tool then adjust this effect click it to the back a little bit then i think this is okay for this s click it to the back a little bit then i think this is okay for the text so you can now bring the s closer to the e just like this and the i sorry and the i closer to the s and the r closer to the i just like this then after that i need to make some customization on top of this i to make it look okay so now first i'm going to use my ruler my vertical ruler and my horizontal ruler so i'm going to zoom it a little bit because the shape I want to create, I don't want it to pass this eye. So I'm going to bring it to this side, then bring it, bring it down one, then duplicate it like this. And I'm going to click on the rectangle tool, then draw a rectangle. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit like this, so as to check if the rectangle doesn't pass the line. I'm going to drag it like this so I think this is okay so I'm going to check the other side then drag it back so this is okay then I'm going to give the shape yellow color then right click to take off the outline so after that I need to raise this side upward so I'm going to bring in this vertical ruler to the middle so as to make so so that the selection I can make will be at the center of this shape. So I'm going to click on the shape tool, then click on Ctrl Q to convert it to curve. 
then I'm going to double click on this right here at the center then it has created a node then I'm going to click on my upper arrow to take it up just like this I think this is ok then I'm going to press shift F4 to zoom it back to page so now the customization is ok so I can now delete the lines so as you can see this is one function of the ruler this is what you can use the ruler for in coil draw so there are many uses but this is one of them so now i'm going to increase sorry i'm going to choose on the two then increase it this one i'm going to align it then increase it like this and take it up then for this i'm going to apply the same effect i applied to this to this um text at the bottom also then press ctrl key to break the text apart so now i can now apply the effect So now after that, you know, I'm done with the um, theme of the program. Well, it still needs some customization after the um, details has been inputted. So now, first, the major thing of the, the major um, work of this design is based on this theme of the program. So I've done the theme of the program, and the next step is to impute the design, I mean the details, that is the location, the time of the program, um, the date of the program and everything about the program so about that I have written out some I have written out the details right here so I'm just going to bring this to this I'm going to explain how I made some of these effects and some of this design so I'm going to bring this upward a little bit just like this, then press shift F4 to zoom back the page. I'm going to reduce this just like this. So I'm going to press hold this, and then press this, then press the letter L to make it centralized. I mean, move to the left, to align to the left. So everything now is aligned to the left. So now for this, um, this is the time of the program. The date of the program, the location of the church, um, the phone number, and this is just Jesus is Lord. So now, so now you might be wondering on how I created this um shape. That is where I wrote this time. So this is how I created it. So I just click on the rectangle tool, um, then I draw a rectangle, then I click on the shape tool to make a curve edge like this, then I click on the ellipse tool draw a circle then bring it towards the side you can now reduce the circle if you want you can make it of any size you want so i give it outline and um, maybe let me see blue let me see blue so and then i click on it then put the select the both the text then click on trim just like this so it has trimmed the um it has trimmed the shape so this is how it will look like so you can now input your icon that is the time icon into the shape right here so that is how i created the shape so now the next step is um this icon you can get it online this is um for the dates and this for the location this is for the time you can get it online so for this color how i created the color so for this line so i just drew a line so people is wondering on how i give it two colors so i just drew a line and this then I increase the outline 
maybe to four points then i convert the line to object by pressing ctrl shift q as you can see that is convert outline to object ctrl shift q then after that you can now create and i'll click on your um that if you to then click on the shape then drag it like this then give this side yellow then give the other side orange and you can now drag it like this to make it look good then for this side that looks transparent i just applied the transparency effects to it i just click on the transparency to then i drag this like this so now as you can see is how it looks like so now i think so that is that for the details of the design so now i need to input a a call to action arrow that will indicate these are the um details just to customize it not for anything so i'm just going to click on i just click on the basic shapes right here then click on this arrow to bring out this so i'm going to repeat it then I'm going to click on the interactive view too. Then I'm going to drag it like this. So I'm going to give this orange and I'm going to give this yellow. So I'm going to drag this like this. Then I'm going to remove the outline. So I'm going to duplicate it just like this. Then hold control to make it on the same shape. I mean on the same line. Then press control G to group it. Then press letter free to centralize it. Then I can now reduce this. Then zoom in, then take it to this side. Then O shift, then select the details, then press the task C to um, arrange it vertically. Then you can now reduce this a little bit. Then take it up, zoom on it, and reduce this a little bit. Then press shift F to zoom everything back to the page. So now this is where you impute your time, your date, your location of your church, the number, then you can just put Jesus is Lord for the text. So now the next step is to bring in the picture of your pastor. So this is um, the next step I'm going to take right here. So I have a picture here with me, so which I, I used in the customization of the flyer. So I'm going to press the tablet to centralize it. So now this is the picture of the, I just used it as a picture, so I downloaded a picture online, it's not, that is maybe it's a pastor or nothing. So now, so this is the picture, so I'm just going to reduce this like this, then I'm going to move it to the right a little bit, then press Ctrl, so then press Ctrl X to cut. Then you can now edit the background, I mean the part clip, then press Ctrl V to paste. After that, then you can now click on the interactive transparency tool, then drag it like this to make the down part transparent, just like this. Just like this, then click on finish editing object. As you can see, this is how it looks like. Then you need to write the name of the pastor. Which is Matthew. We can come to later. Matthew. I your DG. John. Then Ctrl A. Then press Ctrl C. Then Ctrl E to centralize it. Then I'm going to give it a font that is the agency agency FB. So this is the font I'm going to use. Then. I'm going to bring it to this side and give it white color just like this then I'm going to bold it and I'm going to bring it downward a little bit so now then I'm going to zoom everything back to page so now as you can see I'm done with the design let me delete this I'm done with the design if you have any questions to ask me kindly you put them in the comment section so um for you to create a design the background of leave a link and for the fonts i've left the link down in the description so click on the links so you can download the background and the fonts so if you make your flyer you can kindly um 
post this flyer or send it directly to me on Facebook so as to see how you made flyer or maybe you are doing well or, or maybe the other way so try to design this yourself so thanks for watching see you in the next video